and welcome to a uh, short tour of what's going to be my um, future home theater and um, yeah this is just a first work in progress shot and yeah as you can see the room is still pretty bare um, but still like a lot of things have happened so uh, yeah let's start with the size um, this wall is like the main wall that the uh, screen is gonna be on and it is um, 3.6 meters wide and 2 meters 25 high and the depth of the room is 4 meter 60. Um, yeah most of the wiring is already done in the room so we have the main speakers wired up here and all the speakers end in the front here where there's going to be some kind of low board and also like all the network cabling ends here with like four cat seven lines and um one fiber line here one multi-mode or m4 cable and they all go to the uh, technical room which is behind this wall over here yeah now we have one window here it's hopefully going to re be replaced soon um yeah the window builders say that like it'll be here in two weeks or so and then there's also going to be a heater in here so it's not as cold and yeah it's actually pretty cold in here um yeah um the main speakers here i picked out um for cal um 302 on wall speakers i'll like put up put in a picture right now and yeah they they look kind of stylish i guess and they sound really good in this room and they fit placement wise as well they can kind of go pretty much wherever in here um this like whole wall is almost like completely free range in terms of placement except where cables are which is um here where like the speaker cables going up and down and on this side as well like this is where the uh, network cables go and this is where the power lines coming down and it's like from this wall like i don't know like between 18 and like 26 there's a gap where you could potentially run more things and uh, yeah moving to the rear um there's the ac unit um which i guess is conveniently also in the way of where you would place a projector but um yeah this is like an outside wall which is on ground level so you can easily reach it and this wall here is also an outside wall but it's not on ground level so yeah this basically was the compromise for maintainability and um yeah the uh, rear surrounds are also pre-wired up there's a cable in this outlet here um these will be focal um aria sr 900s um they're bipolar and yeah they actually sound pretty good in here um the main listening position is about where i'm standing so about a meter pushed forward um that will allow me to turn this into a 7.1.4 at some point um i just don't really know yet exactly where the seats are so i'm not putting down in wall cabling for the uh, main surrounds right um in ceilings are also already wired up um i guess they're a little bit further out than they should be but um like this is drywall ceiling up here um, but it's double drywall so um like there's an older ceiling underneath um and there's like also some under construction for it but because there's two ceilings there's like two um well two different constructions for it where it attaches so um the spots where you can place speakers 
are actually pretty narrow so then the closer one would have already been like over here uh, which would have been a bit too close so they're a bit further out but that kind of means you can maybe if you have more people maybe push the main seats forward and put a couple of chairs behind it or something and in like this box here there's a second circuit just in case and there's a main um, 16 amp circuit here uh, which is already connected and there's like also one lamp here which is a Philips Hue lamp um, yeah more considerations um, this door here is pretty narrow and uh, in a really stupid spot so it's 69 centimeters wide and right up against this wall but if you go into the next room it's also right up against this wall like against this corner so yeah there's really no way to move it to somewhere better because you just have like a few centimeters here and also this wall is structural so you can't actually move it far but it's also like right up against here so yeah it is what it is i'm probably never going to actually put a door here maybe some like automated curtains or something but yeah um right so in terms of image um what you can see mapped out here is a uh, 65 inch tv in the middle it's gonna you can see the markers for it and it's way too small so yeah what i'm thinking is i can either put in a 100 inch uh, television um like uh tcl announced a new mini led at ces so maybe that's a thing um what also kind of barely fits is a 120 inch um so 120 inch would be from like that outlet to that outlet over there where the cables are hanging out. Um, on the left side, that's really not an issue. I can just push the speaker out. Um, but on the right side, it actually kind of is because the screen would end exactly here. The issue is kind of that you would have to place it between the cabling here. So it would have to be exactly like between here and here in terms of at least the wall mount so um yeah i mean that works kind of it's just really close to that wall but yeah you could conceivably make 120 inches happen here um yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching